Thought you was my bitch, you just a bitch though On the jail call, you pop my shit like Crisco Now I'm back and got the ball now like disco I mean Bruce Lee, Roy ain't got this glow I mean the Nile River really ain't got this flow If you gon' take me back, nigga, what you this for? Truthfully, we had fun when we was piss poor Truthfully, we had fun when we was piss poor so much love in there, do you feel it? Oh, open up your heart, let me steal it You got so much pain, you can't conceal it All it takes is one Kiss, let me heal it. Egg bad, don't hurt me. Look sexy, talk dirty. You bad, I hope you hurt me. But you messy, I don't want you to hurt me. Shot to the heart, it's getting dark. Told you to play a role and I play my part. Walks in the park, I seen potential from the start. You so silly, you start cracking up when you fart. Give me that look with your Yeah, 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 yeah. You're now tuned into me, 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 don't OJT. call me white yeah, girl. Yeah, John Tackle. Use another ass nigga. I'm Wild Two Six Seven. This is Gilly the Nut. White girl. Even though he say don't call me white girl, I'ma call a white girl. You now tune into me, 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 me. Million Dollars River Game. This is brought to you by Bars Two Sports. Listen, man. Let me tell you something. Stop playing my handle, man. No, you got people out here John calling me Tackle. No, people call me Jonathan. John. His JT. whole name is Jonathan. People calling me JT. Before we get started, let's get into our sponsors. You know what I mean? Hold on. Our first sponsor is um, CBD MD. So this million dollars worth of game is sponsored by CBD MD. Y'all know I'm I'm heavy in the the CBD game. I done had a uh, lots of people send me CBD over the years, but y'all know I'm gonna tell y'all the god honest truth all the time. I never sugarcoat nothing. You know, CBD MD got the best CBD on the market, hands down. It ain't no sports right now. Everybody going through it. Ain't nothing to watch on TV. You probably don't watch anything on Netflix. So you know what I've been doing. I've just been playing PlayStation and getting some good sleep. Every night I get that good sleep. You hear me? That CBDMD. You can go there. You can get the CBD PM soft gels. Oh, I popped. I pop that right there before you sleep like like a man that been at work for 24 hours straight, man. Mm -hmm. Get some of the best sleep in your life. Or you can get the CBD PM, 500 milligrams of high quality CBD with melatonin, valerian root, chamomile, and other sleep and promoting ingredients to create a powerful and effective sleep. So, man, get you some good sleep right now. CBDMD.com is where it's at. Promo code GAME, of course. You're going to get 25% off your purchase of any CBD products from CBDMD. Listen, they got the lotions. They got everything, man. They got everything on there. You got back pain, neck pain. Listen, CBD is the new wave. I know a lot of people out here running late. CBD is the new wave. Make sure you visit CBDMD.com. And make sure you put the promo code GAME in so game. you get 25% off. You want to get into this? Listen, man, let's get into Million Dollars Worth of Game. That song of the week was brought to you by Olam. Act bad. But uh, let's get into this, man. Let's get into this. I want to talk about something, though. Let's get into it. Because uh, I had a family member, you know, over the weekend. I ain't going to really, you know, it was an ongoing investigation in case, so I ain't going to put but you know, pop up in the news and fighting some serious, serious charges. And it just made me think about all the young boys out here that don't know what they up against. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't know what they facing out here. They don't they don't understand that that power of one That's very important. I talk is some real Shit. The power of one is the power of that one decision that could change your life for good or could change your life for bad. Uh, I don't want to sound like a, a, a broken a broken record, but I got to because I always, like, 
one of my things is personal to me is always trying to get some like just school the young boys and make sure that you know go in the right direction because I ain't had nobody that continuously would beat me in the head. Right. You know, somebody might say something to you when you was coming up. And I was coming up in the streets of Philadelphia and I thought I knew anything, but it was it wasn't told to me enough. Right. And uh, the dudes that did tell me some real stuff and try to deter me from operating in the street culture, they was outnumbered. Yeah. So I'm the dude. I got a you know a loud microphone. I try to keep giving it to them and I talk about people about the power of one. Right, young cat. I mean, Lil K, I ain't gonna use his real name. He was uh, in prison with me. Mm -hmm. It was a ride, it was, he was in prison for a ride. He was in prison because he was in the car with somebody, dude got into a little dispute, shot the block up, jumped in the car, peeled off with him and he was with him. Conspiracy to murder. Mm -hmm. I'm saying is this, you gotta know who you dealing with out here. You gotta know how to move around and you gotta understand Everybody don't got your best interest at heart. You got to surround yourself with people that's going to lift you higher or people that's going, people that love they self, love their life, they freedom. So they ain't going to do nothing to disrespect your life or your freedom. Right. Because that's how they operating. And a lot of times we look at people and say, oh, that's my homie. That's my man. That shit cool and all. But uh, you don't know what your homie, your man going to be doing, especially if they operating in that world. Mm -hmm. And it's not just in that. You got it in sports. You know, I, I didn't have young cats that I talked to, professional athletes, and they trying to figure out, you know what I mean, like, damn, what do they do with some of their associates? It's like, you in Denver, Colorado playing football, homie, or you, you know what I mean? Or you in Salt Lake City, you playing basketball, mm -hmm. and it's like, your homie just keep going out there and doing dumb shit while you trying to, you supposed to be playing ball, you getting in, in shit with the law enforcement, he not thinking about you. Right. And that one decision, that one night that you running around with your homie could take everything that you didn't work hard for. Right. You know what I mean? Just right. because now you in the news because you with your homie, he's not thinking about that. He's not understanding the power of that one decision that could fuck your life up. And then it's the flip side, the power of that one decision that could change your life forever. Understanding, damn, you know what? Let me let me discipline myself. Let me make sure I ain't in certain places. Make, let me make sure I'm doing what I need to do in order to get where I'm trying to get in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of times you got to do what you need to do so you can do what you want to do. Right. And I, and I think a lot of times we understand that. Man, I've been, you know, me, myself, me being a... a a person in the streets, you know, operating married to the streets of Philadelphia for so long, you know, coming out of prison, you know, it's hard because it's temptations and you see people having things and you want things for yourself. Absolutely. But it'd be like, you gotta, I had to have that discipline to say, you know what, that shit is over with. Right. And release the, and turn down shit and turn down and make sure I couldn't be in certain places. And, and that's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's a lot of people problem is not having that discipline. That di discipline is. Wanting it right now. Yeah. Is a lot of. People and I was problem. And I was playing for like a five, ten year plan. And I'm still operating that plan. I don't. I, and it's the power of that discipline and understanding, like, and that patience and understanding, like, shit don't happen overnight. You got to like, everybody. We live in a world now. Everybody want that shit now because I see Kevin Hart and I'm a comedian, or I see Meek Mills and I'm a rapper, or I see Will Smith and I'm at whoever I see. I see these people and I want it right now. And social media told you that shit can happen overnight because somebody sure. could, you didn't seen people put a post up. And they life change overnight because it might go viral. Mm -hmm. So everybody looking for that viral moment. Mm -hmm. But it's about, listen, man, ain't no two people in the history of life made it the same way. Right. So you you gotta stop looking at people's life on so everybody's looking at something on social media. Uh, everybody from, you know, a relationship, person being in a relationship, they looking at the they mate talking about some, well, what's the name just got uh herbo boy, you know, his his what's the name, uh, G Wagon. G Wagon. We don't live in that type of zip code for me to be buying a G wagon. <laughs> right. Like people don't understand. Right. That. Like we don't. We don't. I, I'm not even getting that type of money for me to be buying you something like that. I don't. I don't. And we got to start appreciating what we, what we what we got right now, and start staying dedicated and focused on what we can work to to become. And I just think that social media has really fucked us up to believe that right now mean right now. And if it's like, if I can see it right there and they doing it right now, but I I didn't see when they were sleeping on the couch. Right. Somebody couch or I ain't, they ain't see, see what the, they, was, they ain't see what, what it took for you to get the dudes was in the bathroom got. studios, they man had a little mixer and they got a little right. mic and they in the bathroom rapping and right. trying to come up and grinding and doing shows for free. Like right. people ain't see you know, people ain't see when Dan Wallow was some you know, people did see, not everybody. But you know, when I was running down the street or I was walking down Broad Street with a book bag and I'm saying to myself like it's raining and shit. I used to have a plastic bag where I put my stuff in my book bag, my charge and all that shit, and I'm walking and I'm saying I you know I come home from from prison. I don't know nothing about Lyft or what's name, so I'm yeah. catching scepter, saving mm -hmm. my money and shit. They like, 
Damn, people say, well, damn, why I'm staying on the, yeah, I'm staying on the train. I'm operating my, this trans pass. Right. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna get in the pay it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I come home looking for hacks on the corner. Damn, ain't no hacks out here. You know what I told you? Yeah, yeah. I said, what happened to the hacks on our broad name, man? Yeah, ain't nobody out here hacking. They ain't hustling What no happened to the hack man yeah, in the market? The, that's how long he was locked up. He came hack, home man. looking for, for sure. a fake cab truck. I'm looking wow. for the hack man. But then, then you always say, nigga, why you always walking? I'm saving my paper, <laughs> and I'm trying to see the scenery. You know, what I mean? I'm trying to see shit I ain't seen in a while. Right. But it's about having that discipline. Right. You know what I mean? And staying and, in your lane. And let me tell y'all something else about the power of one. The power of one, as far as business, is the decisions you make. You feel what I'm saying? Like a lot of times, the power of one that one decision could be whether your career do this or whether your career do this. You know what I'm saying? When I was younger, you know. Jay Z, Dame, they you know Rockefeller Records. They tried to sign, they tried to sign me and my in my group. You know what I'm saying, major figures, and you know, me being the 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 one of the the CEOs or the you know one of the the people who speak up for the company, I turned the record deal down. I wouldn't have done that shit if I was home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's you. Nigga, I would have been on the that? rock. What was I that mouth? Get ass us. I, I the know. rock. We'd have been on the fucking rock. Yeah. Because you already know how I felt about the rock. I always right. was the Jay-Z yeah. boy. Yeah. You used to be. You, you would have been right behind him. The cuck. No, no, Why no. Why did you turn it down, Gil? Seriously. Because he's the, a nut ass nigga. The money wasn't right. What, what you mean? I turned it down because. because I would have been. Because as a solo. I need to know. Because as a solo artist, I had already signed my solo deal. Where I got a certain amount of money. I got six figures put in my account. I got. 15 16 points a bump at gold a bump at platinum and then a, a deal come through for a seven man group for only 12 points so i wasn't one thing about me and anybody in the figures anybody that came up with i never gave a fuck about oh that's such and such oh that's such and such oh I'm 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 happy to be with such and such. I never I was never one of those niggas that gave a fuck about. You was another ass that. nigga. I'd have, I'd have, I, I was one of those. <laughs> I'd have got niggas. my chain and I'd right. have been off the hook. Right. I'd have got my rock chain right. through the rock yep. up. This nigga's I'd crazy. I worked the shit out of that rock yep. chain. You know what I mean? Doors would open when I had the rock chain. That's before shit. the rock was hey, even hey, on. No, no, the, the rock, rock was shit. Though. Though. The rock was popping. The rock Dane would have had this nut ass nigga carrying bags. Get my bags. This is pre state property. I would have been Dane bag carrying. I would have never carried. You would have been carrying Dane bags. Dane was. You would have been carrying Dane bags, nigga. He would have been. They would have gave you a rock chain and let you carry Dane bag. You would have been and let you dance all on stage. You would have been a dancer, nigga. Brought you all out. You like this. That was my shit as well. Hey, shit is old. I need to get to the bottom of this. I was a heavy major figure fan. I need to know the story. Fuck is wrong with you? But no, it was before, but they had to change, I think. It was prior to state property. He would have here been running around the cuck. I mean, oh. like, see, this boy don't know how to operate. The cuck. I would have got they'd my chain, like, right? Listen, on anything I love. It would have like, Wallow is the rock. White girl. White girl. No, but I love, I love White girl. Who, I love I would have got my piece. motherfucking chain. Same thing like You would have been Dave Funky Dog. Stop acting like, like, like you with baby. Like Same thing like with baby. Like I'd have got my go cash money chain. You should have got the chain, Gil. Fuck out. I'd have got the chain and I'd have ran through the whole industry because I'd have been able to make moves off the strip of what they so, built. First of all, of you would have got the, I know you. He would have got the chain. He would have ran through the whole industry. That shit would have lasted two months because back then, niggas was hunting. He would have been cool with everybody. What's up? All in the Bronx where niggas see his rock. Chain, give me that. Take that off. No, no, no. I went. I didn't have robbed this shit out. This is shit. They had to rob this shit out. Sneaker deals. Niggas was getting robbed in studios and shit. Who man. robbed you? Pac from? got shot in the studio, nigga. Fuck you talking no, about. No, no. Shout out to Pac. Don't mention Pac. You trying to put no smut on fucking Pac? Man, you trying to say that like Pac? I'm just saying. Back then, back then, niggas got robbed at studios. Niggas got shot at studios. That shit was really niggas. It was it was going down. Like no, no, like at studios in Manhattan. Not studios out. That shit still happen. That shit still happen. These I'm didn't say it's still happen. These fucking Thundercats is on a whole other level. It, it, it Shout do, out to it the do be happening. But what I'm saying is niggas don't really be jewelry hunting now. Who you think would have got robbed? Me and him first. Who you think would have got robbed? Like, why? Why? Come on, come on, white girl. Who would have got robbed? <laughs> I'm going to give it, like, y'all going no, to straight, straight face me like yeah, that? Yeah, break it down. I ain't don't don't listen. Catch. Break it down, white girl. Who would have got robbed and why? And who wouldn't have got robbed? This this is in the late nineties, early two thousands at the studio. Who would have got robbed and who wouldn't have? Um, I must say they would have robbed Gilly. Thank you. Because why they want to rob me? Just break it down. 
he's the rapper. They gonna assume. No, no, no. I was a rapper bread. too. I don't know your rhymes, Wallow. I know. Fuck Gillies. you, mean I was. I tore him out. Of, I took him to the studio. I don't remember you. But they wouldn't rob me. That's all that matter, right? First of all, first of all, Wallow, I don't first remember of all, your rhymes. how you gonna say they wouldn't rob them when we robbed the nigga for his chain? Then we went to dances. Uh, Shout not, out to dances. Not even a week later, and a nigga robbed him for the chain we robbed the nigga for. But you gonna put that fucking smut on my jacket? Let's Be come up to twenty twenty, guys. Shut up. Let's so listen, come up right? to the twenty twenty. Thank you, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. So the deal wasn't right. You turned the deal down, and yeah, and and sometimes. You know, back then I had to think, damn, did I make the right decision? No. Was it the wrong decision? No. Was it, you know, should I had, you know, took the, the 12 points with seven niggas? Break 12 points down. Break that down. Break yeah, that, that down. That, that basically mean we had to, had to sell 11 million records to make two fucking dollars. What do 12 dollars. points God mean for the person dang. that don't know nothing about 12 points? Uh, is the points that you get on the, on your, on your, oh, yeah, well, you feel what I'm saying as far as, how much? How much money you get off of? So twelve percent of a dollar. <laughs> I'm asking. Some people don't know. I'm asking. Is that twelve? It's basically of a ownership dollar? of your music. They would have to break it down too much. Yeah, I, it was too much dog, to split. I, I'm not the fucking. It was a lot of major figures. Motherfucking lawyer. You want to get a Wu-Tang, lawyer to say and break niggas. down all the everything's and the ends Shout and outs. Shout out to the major and, figures, nigga. I knew this. I was a huge major figure fan. So I, I, really I was a nigga that, that dealt here. with specifics. It's crazy. Listen, the twelve is big. Well, I was a seven. big major figure fan. There's seven of y'all and it's twelve points. That, that, yeah. That's, you know how many points you got? Fucking left. Okay. Okay. That's like saying, is he got five? Is 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 seven of y'all diggle twelve punk ass weak ass turkey and cheese sandwiches? That's enough. Oh, no, oh, the fuck is not. He knew their worth. No, the fuck is not. Type of bread was Thank it? Was you. It on bread? Thank you. See, one thing about him, he would have signed with the first motherfucker that would have, you know, that would have you the shit wild low, huh? Me shit, a you gotta look. Why would Jay Z come looking like for us? You got to be somebody. He'd have been like I this. Rock chain. I, don't know I know. The fuck you about. I know. Rock. I listen, you're the K. Dame. You might can still get you a rock chain, Wallo. Right. He's still giving them Jones out. Look at you. I'm just I'm just saying. Yeah, sure. I still hey, got some spit under okay, my belt. Okay, let me ask y'all a question. What's the top five cities in hip hop? Philadelphia. You done lost your. I'm Philadelphia even... is a top city in music, period. And it's not something I'm gonna debate about. I know the facts, so I'm shaky about like dates and shit. But every year, every I, generation, we've been like said hip hop. Music, period. It's New York or Atlanta, Atlanta number one. New York over New Atlanta. York. Right now, Atlanta probably over New York. About? Atlanta over New York right no, now. No, we just talking about in the history. We talking about the stat statistically. You talking about the top five hip hop cities? Can't do and that. before we get into this, these but top- you can't you can't forget that. Atlanta has been running no, 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 no. for a minute. Hold the up. South has been running hip hop since two. Thousand, bro. But before you Real do that, shit. But, hold, before both of y'all Child do that, ludicrous. let me put that on pause and let me let me <laughs> let me talk about it. Express VPN. Listen, Express VPN is something that you need to get as a service. Listen, they protect your privacy. Mm-hmm. Listen, hide your IP address. Anything you you could choose from over a hundred different countries, the channels they got, they got Netflix, they got Hulu, they got uh, B BBC, I Play, they got I'm talking YouTube. Anything you want, you get is compatible with the phone, media media councils, smart TVs, and more. I'm talking about Express VPN. Listen, you can check Express VPN at Express pn.com slash million right use the code million right and what you do is you get an extra three months free an extra three months free i'm talking about this is your privacy so anything you're trying to do i'm talking about on the web listen express vpn is going to take care of you once again you could choose from a hundred different countries i'm talking about i'm talking about whatever you're talking about a netflix library you could go through whatever you're talking about whatever country you on whatever you're trying to tap into express vpn got you once again, check out the ExpressVPN, visit the link, right, listen, right here, visit the link, expressvpn.com mm-hmm. slash million. The code is million. Use million, and I'm telling you, man, they're going to hook you up with an extra three months free, expressvpn.com. Now, go back to what you're saying. Top five cities in hip-hop. All right, can I, can I, I'm going to say New York. I'm going to okay, say. Okay, but it's a, okay, so hip-hop. How the fuck you just going out L.A.? No, no, I'm not, I'm not out in L.A. I'm asking you a question. Hip hop started in what? Nineteen what? I don't know the year. Seventy eight. Okay, just say it started in seventy six. It's just to be just okay. Cool. Um, New York had it for sure. So that's eighty six, ninety six. Did the but the South had it for twenty years, man. 
So it's it's, it's, it's kind of about even. You mean you you're not saying the South had it entirely on smash? Like it came out. You saying you can't say it, you we talking about the city, man. We're not talking Atlanta. about the whole South. Atlanta. All right, we talking about Atlanta. All right, you you not saying that they had it in its entirety for twenty straight? Like, come on, don't do that. Yes. Same from the two thousand solid, at least like two thousand, two thousand four. The South has been running this shit from ludicrous since to jo- it's Lil been spots where okay, the West Coast is hot, but the South still had it. The West Coast ain't had it for a long time, a long time. Yeah, you know I'm saying it's been a while. No, I can't even I, honestly, dog. I don't know. It's been a long time. Because the West Coast have their spurts. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Where's the last they, spurt? DJ the Mustard. The game. DJ oh. Mustard. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm going to just say this. I'm going to just oh, say this. No. Y'all say Kendrick Lamar. Coast. L.A., L.A., <laughs> listen, listen. Kendrick Lamar, one of the I mean, best like top artists is, in the game. I mean, he is, but did he rep where it's like he has L.A. on his back, just him? No, I don't think but I'm LA just saying, LA is the alone, West Coast on the map LA like that. L.A. alone to me, L.A., you got to think about this. L.A. got the chronic. It got all eyes on me. Mm-hmm. It got niggas for life. Mm-hmm. It got straight out of Compton. Mm-hmm. So this it got America, America's Most Wanted. Mm-hmm. They got LA got some of the most classic got Snoop shit. Listen, that's what I'm talking about. Doggy style. Yeah. They got some of the, they got some of the most classic hip hop albums of all fucking times. You yes, got, it do. And then you go to New York, right? And I'm not saying that Atlanta ain't got some big I'm time classics say, too. On. But I'm talking about some LA is fucking stacked. Jeezy's first album. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> Okay. Come LA on. is stacked. The whole death row. Yeah. And but that's ninety three. New York. You could say the whole Biggie. bad boy. They got bad boy. They got Biggie. They got Mob Deep. They got it's they niggas got, alive got, uh, right now that don't know none Nas, of that shit. They got Lil they got Kim. Jay-Z. They have Rough Riders. Oh, they stack. They just say the labels: Rough Riders, Murder Inc. Uh, motherfucking. Uh, you got Fifty in them. Listen, G right. Unit. You come on, man. Don't right. fuck with New York. Right. Don't fuck. So you gotta say New okay, York first. Okay, but 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 then you could go to down south too. Let's no, New York, forget. New York, wait, wait, LA, wait, Atlanta. Wait, hold on. Uh, Atlanta got. T.I., Jeezy. Gucci, man. Oh, before Gucci you man. say even one of them, say Hold, the Dungeon Friends, say Outkast. Wait, wait, first. wait. I'm going to get to that. Slow down. How you going to go talk about, nigga, I can say who the fuck I want to say. He's saying the, the trap, trap shit first. first. He's putting the trap shit first. Nigga, you say who the fuck you want to say. No, Jeezy, Gucci, like that. Jeezy. Dungeon Family. Gucci. Goody Mop. Dungeon Family. Jermaine Dupri. Monica. Motherfucking, uh. Thug. Young Thug. Young Thug. thug. Q- Shout out to Young Q-C. Thug. I love you, boy. They got QC. Um, a lot. Hold on. Who else? Come For on. Real. It's some no, more. No, no. They got QC. I said Q. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. But, but, but who else, though? Yeah, they keep Don't forget about Ludacris. Ludacris, Ludacris was the Ludacris. shit for Ludacris. years. Hold on. Hold on. Can I say something? Ludacris. Can I say something? And I'm not taking nothing. Lil this is, John. This is in your Lil words. John. He created this a whole like thing. Everybody you say, I respect. And I listen to their shit. But this is in your words. It's a lot of them now. It's a little different from back then. Motherfuckers was selling real physical copies, like right. real records, right. like holding them. Right. That murder, listen, murder ain't Rough Riders, a Biggie, a D- Bad Boy, and all the motherfuckers, uh, 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 Rockefeller. Them niggas was selling records, Come man. Come on, man. So hold on, Jeezy Platinum, Tip Platinum. I'm not, I'm not saying they. Goody Mob Platinum, Monica Platinum. When you talk about this, you gotta think about influence too. Right. Like right. so, who you say? It's no, niggas from change. Detroit rap like they from Atlanta. Niggas from Philly rap like they from Atlanta. You guys talk right. about influence. Niggas right. not out here. They, no, no, like but hold up, hold up. Coast. Can I say this? Can I say this? Though? We not Atlanta even talk about none shit. of the young no, niggas. Can I say this, we just talk about all Atlanta, the old niggas. Uh, uh, but listen, but with the young, she's saying like I'm talking about even, the young. That's niggas. not even half the niggas. Saying influence. They ain't had an internet like they did now. You saying influence? That's why everybody can get a sound and sound like Chicago or sound like I'm from here because they didn't had it. They got the they got the advantage with that the influence more. Think about that. The yeah. influence more. Like if you ain't see a dude, if you ain't see a dude from Chicago, if that if the internet don't come, you don't you don't see Chief Keith. You don't see these dudes. You don't see their whole manner right. and the way they they move, the way they roll, the, swing the gun in the video. It's a lot of shit that you don't see. Right. But you are gonna try to say Atlanta come before New York? I, I'm not saying that. Please, I'm don't just do that. I'm just. But what I'm saying is, mm. what I'm saying is this. Your influences to me is everything, because. Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time because he had the most dominant influence. That nigga's damn near 60 years old and he still sell more fucking sneaks than anybody. These kids won Jordans and never even seen the nigga play. Wild. That's influence. You got 
40% of the niggas in Philadelphia right now, right now, as I'm saying this, this fucking minute, <laughs> be rapping like Atlanta niggas. Facts. That's a fact. That's a fact. They even do Atlanta niggas ad libs. Skirt. That's a That way. I mean, that's what Uzi did. No, 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 no. Uzi blew coming out of Atlanta. It's different. But let me ask you a question. It's different. He didn't blow coming out of Philly. He blew coming out of Atlanta. He was in the mix down there. You wouldn't have knew he was from Philadelphia listening to him. But let me ask you this though. Don't you think a lot of young cats gotta rap like that? Because if they rap rapping, ain't nobody gonna pay them no fucking attention. No, that ain't the truth. Who pay? But, but okay, Griselda gang. They one in a million. No, they shout not out, one in a million. Man, they just one in a million niggas that decided to be them and not ride another nigga's dick. I'm just telling you. Well, all right. I'm just saying this. Okay, but I'm from Philly, but I listen to Lil Baby. Where are they so from? So now I'm gonna start rapping like Lil Baby. No, that's where Lil Baby's from. That's that. That's his culture. It's not my culture. So if I'm trying to represent his culture, that's not even where I'm from. Why the fuck would my people gravitate to it when it's not their culture? But that's all they know. That's all they listen to. That's what they're growing up. Where are they, where are they from, Gorilla but, Gang? But you gotta understand. Oh, uh, you, you gotta Griselda. understand. If, Griselda, if yeah, I'm a young, me. if I'm a young, if I'm a seventeen, if I'm an eighteen year old girl, let's make her grown. I'm a nineteen year old girl, and I listen to young baby. I listen to little baby. I like his slang. I like the way he talk. I like it's things that I like about him that makes his music and him all go together. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Look in Philadelphia right now, right? And tell me one artist that's popping and don't sound like a Philly artist, ain't rapping. Tell me, because all the artists that I know, they got a little buzz for themselves and that's on the way up, it's all rapping. KP out of West Philly. Leaf Ward. 80,000 followers. Leaf Ward. Uh, OT The Real. Um... You want come on, Rocky, Rocky, Zig, Rocky, Money. Zig Money, Rocky, uh, North, ho, uh, uh, ho, um, uh, you don't get shit to sell. The Anything under an ace when hit the scale. I yeah. fuck it, bitch, and you fuck For that sure. bitch too. It's between us. I don't kiss and tell. He run it. He run it. He run it. Drew boy, it. Drew boy, and all the niggas that's running around here like this. Hey, how about the ba? Hey, how about the ba? Hey, how about the ba? Hey, Tell me one of them niggas that's got a little buzz that's doing. No, them niggas don't get paid no fucking attention around here. Because, nigga, you're from Philly. We grew up listening to Gilly, Meek Millie, Big Willie. I grew up listening to Schooly D. And nigga, nigga, you grew, grew up, up listening, listening to me, you. nigga. I was your favorite rapper, nigga. You nut ass, nigga. I was rapping. You tried to rap like me. That's why you ain't got a ball head, you nut ass. Follow do you still have it? I got a little spit on me well, here and there. Whenever you're ready, 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 I'm ready. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Whenever the fuck you ready. I'm really ready. Like, ready, ready. Whenever you're ready. Nigga, nigga. You keep talking about you. you I'm you almost mad. Rap. I don't remember. They already heard me rap. You was don't you want on the mixtapes back in the day, Major Figure mixtapes? Are you on them? shit. I was on the first stuff. Come on, dog. The smack battle. Boy, you The smack type battle. Well, I smack you. I you know, know them smack, tapes like, like from my. I don't remember Wallo rapping. I'm sorry. I don't know how I missed that. I know all that shit. Top five cities. In hip hop, Atlanta, uh, New York. We get New York number one because they. Y'all be the fucking fort about you. Is it Atlanta or is it L.A.? Atlanta, Atlanta before Atlanta L.A. Two. L.A. three. What about Houston? Philadelphia. How the fuck you going to disrespect What's wrong with Dre y'all? Like Houston's on Think the list. In Philadelphia, that's Dre, it. Listen, you oh got yeah, Dre, you're right. You got you're right. Dame, oh, you're you got right. Kendrick. You got you're, Tupac. You got Ice Cube. Yeah. You got motherfucking MC8. Right. You said one so, nigga from so right now. So New York is one. L.A. Oh, if we count L.A., we count that whole, because you said the South, we count the whole California. Can we count the whole California? If we count the whole California, they definitely. No, no, you can't count the whole California. Just we cities. just going to forget the Bay Area? Just cities, yeah. Because the we Bay got its own yeah. thing. Yeah, we, they got its own thing. But damn, the Bay has its own thing. They don't thing. consider themselves L.A. niggas. At I know, all. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so we going New York, Atlanta, L.A. Or you could switch it either way. No, right, but let's what, get them three. It don't matter, them three. What's number four? Houston. Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, I'm a home team bitch. 
Got a lot of shit out of Houston. You got a lot of shit. Scarface. 8-Ball, MJG, Scarface. Pimp C. R.P. Pimp. Pimp C. Suave House was up out of there. Suave House. DJ Screw. You got, you got, you got Slim Thug. And the whole Key Slim Thug. Click. Paul Wall. Key, Key, Paul Wall. Bun B. Key, Key, Bun B. No, but Bun B and them was from Port Arthur. They're the same. No matter. Yeah. Put them yeah, there. Yeah, they Texas niggas. I'm just saying, hold up. Now I'm going to Philly. You got Gilly. I'm saying you're not. Please stop fucking. Fuck is you talking about? I was blackball, nigga. nigga. If I wasn't blackball, I'd be bigger than Jay Z, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I got Phil. You got Gilly. You got Meek Millie. You got Big Willie. You got Schooly D. You got Cool C. You got EST. You got you got major figures. You got State Property. You got Jill Scott. You got Most music. You got the Sullivan. Roots. Boys you got Boys Jasmine Sullivan. You got Boys the Men. You got Teddy Pendergrass. You got Patty LaBelle. Oh no, we the fuck in there, nigga. We number yeah. four, nigga. Fuck Philly out of here. Fuck there. wrong Y'all with you, nigga. Tripping. We in there, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you, like, nigga. For we sure. in there, nigga. Philly's on the list. Fuck like, wrong with tripping. you. So, so Philly number four and Houston number five. What I don't think it Chicago? should be any particular order. Chicago's Chicago not on the list. Wait, Chicago got some motherfuckers. What the fuck? Did you kidding me? Chicago Did you kidding is me? not on the list she don't know what of she the talking. top five cities. Right. Why? Why? Drill? Drill music? You got Common. You got Kanye. You got Twister. We talk just you because it's Crucial niggas Conflict. from the city that can rap don't mean they own the top five cities. You know, come on now. No, not Chicago. Drill what? Drill did influence a lot of shit. Drill made crime rates grow up in, in, in little small towns and shit. People joined gangs when Chief Keith came out. Motherfuckers are still imitating <laughs> fucking videos right shit, now. Real shit, real shit. They definitely was influential to the young people. Niggas still in the video people. thinking they from Chicago. Young still niggas look up to Chief Keith. Whole shit. So we gonna go six. We gonna go New York. <laughs> we gonna go. We gonna go. We gonna go New York. We going. What I feel like we DC? forgetting somewhere. Everybody just watching. DC's not on the list. Please put your list on there. DC's not list. on the list. Miami. Miami. I love you, DC. Yeah, How you fuck you forget, forget Miami. two live crew and tricking all of them? Miami's right. not on the list. This is that's just ridiculous. Ricking them from down there. What about New Orleans? Oh yeah. How now what you? about New Orleans? Yeah, we tripping. That list is fucking goofy now. New because Orleans. You had the heavy. whole cash money. You had the whole no limit. And that's about it. New Orleans not on the list. No, you had yeah, other because then you got Abusi and them is in NBA and all them is from Baton Rouge. That's, the, listen, that's not even the same listen, thing. Yeah. You no, can't no, no. put them together, was, you so know that's how many it. Chains was coming out of what's the name? No, no, no. You're right. New York got them beat because I wanted, I only wanted two chains out of motherfucking uh, New Orleans, and I wanted the Cash Money chain or No Limit chain. Yeah, in was, New York, I wanted a, I wanted a Rough Riders, a Murder Inc. Or anybody get wallow. If anybody wouldn't get wallow a oh, chain of dog niggas, tag, yeah. please that send it in. Got send a it to Gilly. Come on, now. I wanted a chain. Hey, man. what Hold y'all on think, on think the effects of the coronavirus going to be? Hold up, before we get into that, right? Before we get into the effects of the coronavirus, right now during this corona time, uh, uh, everybody to all you e-commerce sellers, everybody on there that's selling things and moving and grooving, I think y'all really need to tap into. ShipStation.com. Listen, ShipStation, what they do is they give you a free 60 days. One thing about ShipStation, just a few clicks, and you'll be managing your orders. Click on the mic at the top of the page and type in game, G-A-M-E, right? You'll get a 60-day, I'm talking about 60-day free. Listen, as fast, as easiest, the most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. Everybody out there, I don't care. I don't care if you're on Amazon. I don't care if you're on SD, your own website. ShipStation, bring all your orders together in one simple interface. Listen, ShipStation, man. Check out ShipStation.com. Use the code game. Get a free 60 days. ShipStation.com. Code game. Free 60 days. Check them out. Hey, listen, man, we might as well do this sponsor as well. This sponsor is brought to you. Let me get the main page, brother. This is the Barstool <laughs> Subsidiary PA State Lottery. So listen to everybody in Pennsylvania, the state of Pennsylvania, Barstool has the barstool.hollywoodcasino.com that you can go on now. And, oh, man, you could do some top flight gambling. They got blackjack. They got the poker. They got all the games on there. So if you're a Pennsylvania listener and you want to earn a voucher to Barstool Sports, this is how you do it. Don't miss this limited time offer from Pennsylvania Stoolies. Enter promo code Barstool. You hear me? Promo code Barstool to any new players and deposit $50 and you receive a $10 voucher. But hold on. If that ain't good enough, you could deposit $250 and you will receive a $50 player voucher for barstool sports stool store i'm sorry so all all the new players is getting a 25 dollars bonus for just signing up so if you want to 
If you're a gambler and you want to go online and you want to gamble, barstool.hollywoodcasino.com is the new thing. All Pennsylvania listeners, this is where you want to be gambling at. Promo code BARSTOOL. Must be 21 to play. If you have a gambling problem, you can also get help at 1-800-GAMBLER. And you must be in the state of Pennsylvania to play. So let's get into this, right? The coronavirus aftermath. How do you think it'll be? How do you? Do you I, 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 I had to paint my own toes. I know. Did, did they come out right? You want to put your toes fuck on camera? No, fuck You want to no. put your dogs on camera? I put my toes on live the other day, and the nigga told me it looked like a scully. I tried to do the white tip, but it's too much of my big toe. It's just rough. It's rough out here for women. But what about the women that's in the crib right now with uh, Ronnie Romance? <laughs> And you know Rodney Romance, he just comes with his romance. He ain't, you know, no groceries, just laying pipe. Just fucking the like, floor. Do you have any girlfriends that's got Ronnie Romance in the crib right Listen, now? Listen, it's a lot of smelly feet, non-essential ass niggas on couches and in beds and in refrigerators. But <laughs> I feel like as women, you cannot put these bum ass niggas out during quarantine. That's not right. So you're exempt to being put out for being a bum ass so, nigga. You get to stay. And eat the fruit snacks. But plus, after, that nigga probably got a stimulus. I will hope you got some of that. I think Girl. after the coronavirus, I'm going to speak from a street perspective. I think after the coronavirus is up, I think it's going to be the crime rate is going to go through the roof. You think so? Yes, because just if you in the streets and you a hustler, most motherfucking hustlers didn't plan for the coronavirus. For sure. Let's be for real. Pray for the boosters. So now, if they had a little bit of money saved up, that's gone. Niggas ain't got no re-up money. When the coronavirus is over, niggas re-up money is done disappeared. But it's, did your money really slow down? Because niggas still getting high on quarantine. All right, I'm trying to tell you. Most, I'm just saying. Listen, a <laughs> lot of motherfuckers is not going, is not doing it. They not, I'm telling you, they niggas is fucked up. Niggas is spending more money right now and not making no money. That's the bottom line. They spending more money than they making. So when they come up out of this shit, True. niggas is gonna be. What they spending money up. on? Groceries. Groceries. Fucking groceries. Weed. Oh. weed. Weed. Shit, you know how much money I don't spend on weed. Oh, you know how hard it is to sit in the house with the same motherfuckers all day, every day. Sober. Like, come on. But man. the bottom line is, <laughs> the bottom crazy? line is, the bottom line is, ain't no money coming in because you see DJs DJing from home. With cash apps on the bottom of their page. At this, wrong, time, at this is point, it wrong we to put your cash fucking. app at the bottom of the page? No, if you motherfucker gonna send you something, fuck no. You you feel as though you providing a service for it's more bitches that done opened up fair only pages since this coronavirus. I'm shit. this close. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you all how the many, fucking you got, How many girlfriends you got? I got, I know a few, and they doing well. Like, what type of money they making? They making good money, shit. What's good money? Enough to suck a banana on a goddamn iPhone. Mm. Mm. I'm this close, okay? If you get one, you gonna fuck yourself? Listen, you have to subscribe, Gil. That's what I'm gonna tell you, like I would tell everybody else. You're gonna have to subscribe uh, but, uh, but, to see. But in There's order no to, way you can know that you, you subscribe. In order to subscribe, a nigga gotta, he gotta get out there. Oh, no, you ain't. You ain't been on micro page. <laughs> nah. She nah. stuck a Heineken bottle on her ass. Hey, listen. Well, listen, let me ask you a question. How many? How, this listen, is this un- fucking So you say this only fans. Up out here. You saying only fans is saving people out here? I'm saying that people got only fucking fans created. Only fans saving lives. You figure, you figure Boosie was going live. They got the website. Now you can go see the strippers on the website. You don't have to worry about the live falling. I mean, people getting creative. Because the people like that are affected. Entertainers, strippers, bartenders, security guards. There's no work for you. There's nothing going on. If so when it's no work for you, only fans. Suck a cucumber, bitch. Whip whipped cream on it. Fuck it. So what be going on on the OnlyFans? I never subscribed to OnlyFans. Do they, neither do, have I. Do they be up? Do they be on their fucking hello? I know you subscribed to about four of them. <laughs> no, I don't know that. I yeah, Walla, what do you think about your OnlyFans subscriptions? <laughs> I think if I had an OnlyFans page, I would clean the fuck up. What you gonna be like clean up on the show them how you clean? Naked. Yeah, yeah. O- <laughs> only <laughs> girls, only chicks. You can only no, see no, 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 no. You, you wild only Mike, fans. Wild it's Mike. gonna be men looking at y'all on there. It's men that it's men that watch this podcast right now to see y'all right now. Men, gay men are in love with you, both of y'all for sure. Y'all handsome. I'm sure it's gay niggas that watch this joint to y'all. Like I'm pretty sure it's niggas that's like wild love. No. 
Oh my goodness. Let's that be little, real. Just, like, who cares? Like, they be at home like Wallo. See, I don't really gilly. He too. Gilly talk too much shit, but Wallo is Wallo. Wallo could definitely run in my bedroom. Wallo could definitely run in my video, my bedroom and do one of them videos. And it's just doing? like that. Get up, Anton. You still sleep. Wake up. I'm here for you. He's, Why is you still sleeping, he's Anton? Thug. Yeah. He's a, Why is you he's still sleeping? He a down low thug. They, they looking at him like all that tough shit he talk. We don't mind Anton. the gays watching. We yeah. love y'all. Y'all fine. Y'all go know, watch we us. We just know they probably ain't looking at me. They looking at low. Yeah, okay. yeah, I mean, skin all glowing. You did did the jail bid. You, you ain't got no drugs. A lot of you look at him. He got that glow. Look, you you do got no, that. No, that's more short, you got that rainbow glow. You do got that locked up, rainbow. you can't tell your you age type of glow, Wallo. You do got that. Wallo, you, yes, you, you know that, that though. You got, that, cool that, shit, you got that green hearts, purple diamonds, purple horseshoes. Yo, you got what the that. Fuck is that? <laughs> no, no, what's that cereal? Yo, <laughs> lucky the charms. You got lucky charms glowed up. Wow. You Especially, got that, man. You got that lucky. Special, I ain't going to lie. You got that lucky charms. No, glow, people man. that are in jail, they're in little capsules. You see how, okay. You see how the bitches be on my page? No, Gilly, if April one with Wilo, I would have scooped Wilo up because, yeah, I mean, a nigga did come on my page one time. I ain't want to tell you. <laughs> he did. <laughs> nigga came right on my page. like, me, you know, I don't you judge. You, you know, I don't judge. I talk to everybody on you my page. On me, he came right on my page. He was like, I was locked up with Wilo. I used to give him the eyes, but. No, he lied. This motherfucker lied. On me. I'm telling you he what he said on, on my live. You can go back and Google the lights. I used to get Wilo the eyes from the from the bottom tier. He said because you know, <laughs> but he said but he used to be so into Ricky Minaj and he I'd say he ain't yeah, paid me no mind. Me, I said oh all right. You are lying on me, man. Yeah, but listen, let's keep it real though. After after this Corona is over, I, I'm telling you, if you a hustler out there, y'all, I would let I let all the robberies and the homicides get out the way for you to get back <laughs> in the game, player. Because niggas is gonna be on angles, man. Niggas is gonna be on angles out there. I'm telling you, like don't believe me if you don't want. I, I give y'all a lot of game. If you in the streets after this Corona overs, all right, be in the streets if you want. You know what you're going to be smelling? Smoke, because the nigga going to take that pack and run off on you, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Niggas is going to try to so get. So you got to get fire insurance. If you in the street game right now, you should be getting get fire insurance. Fire insurance. Listen, <laughs> if, if you in the street game and you front somebody something, you dumb as a red brick. Yeah, me? Right now, Because that shit is not coming back. It is done. He That is called the get back. Okay, that first pack is called the get back. Get back and Can get up. Smell that? Get up and get back. That first pack is called the get back. What about these stimulus checks? Where is mine? Like, let me ask you a question. You I get ain't 12, get a dollar. You get twelve hundred, right? You're supposed to get twelve hundred and five hundred per child. And if you didn't file in 2019 or 2018, you can go on irs.gov and you can pick a little selection and say you didn't file taxes because you're trifling. But you can still apply for your stimulus and you'll get it. And you could use your cash app card if you that trifling because you don't have a bank account. They said motherfuckers. They they said that twelve hundred hit niggas accounts. Shout yeah. out to DJT for that. That's what's up. Yeah, they definitely at least you could do that. your bastard. You said it like he's a DJ or something. But the, he's real hip hop. Like he cuss. He on Who Twitter talking, talking shit. Donald, Donald J. Trump. He's a DJT. <laughs> DJT. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he's I thought that pretty was a nigga fucking, from Delaware. So. Listen, D DJT is like a thug. He on Twitter talking shit. He wants the check stopped and remade because he wants his face on it. Can I ask you a question? Did you smoke a mile today? Of course. Started my day with the long black and mild. I enjoyed it. Was it was it the, the smooth wood tip? tobacco <laughs> mix and the plastic? No, the only tip? plastic. Oh, plastic. Y'all won't make me feel bad for smoking blacks. Not no, you, you niggas in my bad. DM either. You, are they be in your DM since yeah, I? They talk a lot of shit. What they say in your DM? They say a lot of shit. They call you the queen of the mile. No, but they. I got a lot of medium dicks. I already told y'all about that. And I get a lot of like, fuck Mr. Flatbush. That nigga ain't shit. Can I eat your butt? It's just, it's just shitty. Man, just like crazy. I thought it was going to be like rappers and football players. It's not. It's just you niggas <laughs> with them little dicks and them pictures. I don't, I really, really don't want your dick pic. Like seriously. And I post them. Let so me ask you a question. It's a gamble, Let me ask you a question. You post a guy that's, I post dick pics. Let me ask you a question. A guy that sent a dick pic is, is, is he corny? Let me explain it. It's not the dick pic. It's an unwarranted dick pic. Let's say it's 947. You text me a dick pic. I'm at the pediatrician. 
With smush. Hey, you ever, you ever, you ever. I didn't say anything to you for you to send me a dick pic. We had to be talking dirty. You it has ever to be asked late for night. A dick pic? Yeah, ask for dick pics. Yes. If a nigga send you a dick pic, is he? Is because Gil was a dick pic sender. No, if I, I say, I never <laughs> a dick pic in my life. Any nigga send dick pics, another ass nigga. So, so what are you lining this up? You think that that's that makes you weak if you send a dick pic? Why would you Thank take you. a picture of your dick? Because I asked you to. No, come on. So that's, women do women like? That's, that's great. Do you ask a bitch to send you a picture? No. All right. Well, that's fair exchange. Let me let me let me just say this. So so what? Uh, what that's about, fair exchange. What about then? phone sex? You had phone sex? Come on, of course I had phone sex. Facetime sex. Turn the Facetime up. Quarantine. Turn that Facetime up. You gotta go in the bathroom, cut the water on, so you can call your side nigga. Turn the Facetime up. It's do? a joke. That's a joke do? for cheaters, not that? me. Gilly, what? what you would you have to subscribe that? to my OnlyFans to see stuff like that. You Gilly. don't got an OnlyFans. It's yet. coming. Give me a second. What's your, what's, your, what's your name going to be on OnlyFans? Don't Can't call me mom. white girl. I ain't hiding nothing. You bitches is trying to be low. We know y'all on there. I'm not doing that. I'm putting my shit on my Instagram, my Facebook, and the link. I'm going to tell my aunts on Facebook, don't hit this link. Dang. Don't hit this link, Aunt Sharon. you change your name to Queen of the Mile? Because huh? my name is Don't Call Me White Girl. How much you charging? Like, like what's your price? You know people had different prices and stuff. I don't know what we can start. Forty nine ninety nine. Something God high. Damn, you something want fifty expensive. dollars for fucking a, right? A I'm a fucking crypt. internet influencer. You like what? You want me? To, you want to see me suck on this remote? You got to pay for that. Damn, you are gonna suck on a cable? You never remote? know. Subscribe. I won't look at you different. Use a different name. But, but what you going? Don't to be do? acting cable, funny though. Once I come back in here, like <laughs> a cable remote. Now like you're this, thinking. Like now you thinking. Lady. I'm giving me OnlyFans. I mean, what I'm supposed to do? You fitting your choppers? Wow, Gil. Like wow, really? Because you said a cable remote. That's a big. Them, them new motherfucking Comcast remotes is this fucking big. How hey, many she might don't have Comcast. Oh, what you got? Expensive. She might have uh, the flash. Oh, low ass. Expensive. A fire stick. She got a fire, the low stick, fire stick. My fault. Stick. I thought it was a flash stick. <laughs> <laughs> she got a little ass fire stick at the crib. It's a fire stick. Hey, so everybody getting them stimulus checks, they fucking that money up. For huh? sure. What did you fucking your buddy up on? What's the first? Did y'all thing? get y'all stimulus checks? No. no. You niggas don't ever want to give it up. I didn't get mine. If I, if I would have, I would have been excited. I don't understand. I'm looking for mine. Like Trump. this, the whole thing. The whole thing is like, what did you spend? In? How much did they get? Twelve hundred. So you get twelve hundred. No, twelve hundred and then five hundred per child. But so you got to stack. You got to hold that shit. This motherfucker's claiming niggas kids. Well, I know bitches got thirty five hundred. Seriously, they people got, got hit. It. Yeah, I know people that. I know some people that had children that just got flat twelve hundred because at the end of the day, it's Donald Trump. It's sloppy. You know what I mean? They just. But you just said his name was DJT. Like he right. on the wheels of stills. Listen, he's a bum. And he doesn't do anything right. So this ain't being done right. That's why you need to apply for that money. Don't think you're not going to get it. Them people just pressing the button. Go put your fucking name on the IRS.gov. Get you some stimulus money. Mm. By the end of it, I'm going to have four stimuluses. Damn, let's get to me and I was game. <laughs> hey, listen, this is what I want to talk about in me and I was worth a game, right? To all the people out there that's in relationships, whether you, the show, the show, your boyfriend, your, your girlfriend, your, your, your wife, your husband, your partner, whatever you want to call. Stop letting people that's not in your relationship fuck your relationship up. What, what people? What you mean? But, but, what, what you mean? What baby I mean? Mom, baby like mom. Like the mom, your mother? Bitter fucking friends, girlfriends. Mothers. That's hard. Lonely fucking homies. That's who all ain't right. got nothing. Want you to be fucking lonely. To, damn, you gotta go home to you, woman. You always gotta Aunt, go home sisters, to you. A nigga woman. baby mom could run you away from a nigga. And that's that's a what fact. I. But what I'm saying is that's a fact. A lot of a lot of relationships, y'all might as well go ahead and let the baby mom get the middle room because the bitch is renting space in y'all heads mm, for already. Real? Yeah. Y'all might as well go ahead and put the bitch in the in the middle room because she renting spaces and she's renting. First of all, why they had that just much power. how she wanted. How do they? I had to tell you why they got so much power. Because uh, uh, this is one reason why baby moms be having a lot of power. Because sometimes the baby father be a bitch ass nigga. All the time. No, 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 not all the time. Almost all the time. Sometimes the baby father be a bitch ass nigga. Why? She was running him from the bef- door before yeah. he left. So now, I feel when, attacked. so now when he leave, it's still a sense of, oh, well, fuck you then. All right, well, yeah, I'm going to make your life hell. I'm going to make your life miserable. Like, either you're going to let me see my child or you're not. And if you're not letting me see my child, I'm going to take the proper procedures to see my child. I got a question. But I'm never 
you ain't never got to worry about arguing with my new girl, disrespecting my new girl. That I don't even understand how this type of shit even be coming into play. You feel what I'm saying? Because how are we going to sit at the crib and argue about a bitch I don't want no more? How are we going to argue about because she called you something out of her? I can't control what this bitch says. I can't control how this bitch act. She called both of us a bunch of shit. <laughs> why you why you mad at me? Why how does our union become a separation because this bitch lose her mind and don't know how to speak to people? I feel like a lot of men are honest. Like I feel like if you know you got that wild ass baby mom and you meet a girl, you should tell her, like, look, my baby mom's a pit bull. Like, I fucked up a couple years ago. I had baby by a pit bull. She's from the project. She's going to harass us a while. If you stay down, it might blow over. Niggas don't do that. Niggas bring you over, and then this bitch is barking at the passenger door. You don't know what the fuck's going on. And he's like, oh, that's that's Breebie mom. Like, what? why is she but drooling? See, but see, <laughs> at too, the mouth. that's Damn. also a sloppy bitch-ass nigga. True, agreed. Because if a nigga know my baby mom be on dumb ass shit. I'm not even bringing put you, you in around. Position, we not exactly. even, we not, I'm not even going to put you in this position for my baby mom to be on some dumb shit. True, and right. I, so I'm not even going. So that's a sloppy bitch ass nigga who most of the time is really still in love with his baby mom and he's trying to get his baby mom in her feelings. Right. He knew she was going to act like this and you still pulled up with the bitch in the car and cool out, Stephanie. Hey, Steve's cool to feel like you always take Your girl just sitting in the car like, she got one more time. She hit you one more time. Me and that bitch no, be fighting. No, I get active. And they, she keep talking about, because you had a girlfriend. You had a new, the new chick. She really scared. She, but she talk all that gang shit all day. Yeah, I'm telling you. She's, let us say one more month. She slapped him five times. The last five times, he went to go pick right. his kid up. And honestly, I had a bitch all, harass me. All, all your baby mom trying she to do is. She was scared. I, I mean, I had a, and then it's like people see my complexion. That's where the don't call me white girl shit come from. I'm not a white girl. I'm not mixed. I'm black. I'm from the hood. And people see my picture, they think, oh, he got this Puerto Rican bitch. He got this white bitch. And they come at me like, start. You white bitch. You think because you like people the really judge York, me. Uh, people come at you yet? I haven't had any issues with Mr. New York. None. But I have been harassed by a nigga's baby mom. And I feel like. What Gil said is right. It's a lack of control. And then it's, it's, there's a lot of dumb shit. Like, for instance, you and your baby mom arguing on the phone. Your baby mom says, yeah, because fuck you and that bitch. When you hang up, is that a necessity that you had to say? She said, fuck you and that You know what I mean? It's like you and your baby mother had a relationship. <laughs> right, they do say that. Right. You, you and your, that bitch. You right. and your baby and mother you had a relationship. Right she told me, fuck you and me. You feel me? Like, we had a relationship, whether we broke up or not. It's like we had some type of loyalty towards each other. Like you couldn't excuse that and not repeat that. You know what I mean? Until that thing calmed down, you had to turn to her and say, yeah, she called you a nappy head whore. You didn't have to repeat that. Making them small steps, them men steps, you can avoid a lot of that girly shit that goes on. Like right. you run your fucking mouth too much. You don't have to say every little thing that happened. Right. And then it's a lot of respect. It's like, you the new bitch, you the stepmom, ask can you do her hair? Don't just touch her hair or change her clothes. Like, respect the bitch, show the bitch some respect. I'm the type, I want to introduce myself. Like, I want to meet you. But before I meet your kid, I want to meet your baby mom. And I'll ask that. Some women don't do that. Like, you know, my, my like, please, my kids meet their But at the end bitches. of the day, too, when your baby mom, <laughs> when the baby moms be all slapping on the nigga in front of the bitch, really, they just trying to show the bitch that they still got control over you. Let me ask you a question. That's all they doing. Yeah, it's a lot about control. How long before, how long before, because some women is, some women this, is foul. Yeah. How long before a woman should bring a, a man around a kid? Now, let, listen, now this, this is deep. This is deep. This is deep. I feel like that is a conversation that them two parents have to have. In my opinion, who the fuck am I to say when you gonna move on? So me, I don't really have a time limit. I just wanna know this bitch first name, last name, phone number. What about the, what about Radio Raheem? It's coming Radio Raheem Romance is coming through your spot though. I'm saying I'm saying if that's what I want from you, that's what the fuck I expect back. If the bitch is gonna be around my child, let me she, know her name. Call her, call her name bitch. I wanna know her name. I wanna know her phone number. Why I'm, she gotta be a bitch? You don't even know her. I have a dirty mouth. I call most women bitches. I call y'all bitches when I'm not around y'all. What I'm saying is, is that I would like. Bitch, I slap this shit off. <laughs> <saying, laughs> I feel like before this shit is all over, we I'm probably gonna, gonna yeah, have to get that shit off. Well, I'm with yeah, it. I'm with it. Right I'm with it. Don't do that. I don't. I, 
I slapped that motherfucker right off your head. You disloyal. Right, I, I told right, you about this right, wig before. All right, all right, That's I won't fuck. say nothing. Right. He's a rat. I told you. That's fucked up. Is he a rat for that? My wig loose. It's quarantine. Fuck y'all. Oh, you if anybody would like to do my hair, please DM me. Juice 302 did my nails. My nails are fucking fabulous. She's Yo, you the, the only chick that got your nails. I'm the only toes. bitch in the world with nails done. Don't make, don't make Shout out to Juice Real too. She's head. a fucking beast and she don't touch her feet. She ain't with fucking that beast. Packers shit. helmet, old school pup. This wig isn't disarray. Can everybody just bow their hands like and just bow their heads and pray for me to get a wig and some type of help? I did my own toes, man. Mm, they fucked up. Too. It's getting <laughs> dark I heard you, out I heard here. The pups looking like you ride four wheelers with Meek Mills in them. My feet are not bad, but the polish job is shitty. I heard no. I heard your feet not bad, but your pinky toe tilt in like this. My feet are just as soft as you look. Damn, that was that was spicy. That was spicy. Before this shit is over, me and Gilly gonna get now, one let's, off. Uh, you know, to move on, let's get into stories from the cell. Mm -hmm. uh, shaking dice in the shower room, the phone room. What happened was this: I was up Dallas one time, right? And uh, I was the I, I was a, shaking dice where. Let's just listen, man. Hear me out. One thing about me is I was a professional smut letter writer. I could write a mean smut letter, like a read scene to scene. I walk into the room, you know what I mean? I ripped your shirt off. <laughs> and I ripped your shirt off, you scream, uh, why you do that? You see what I'm saying? And then I, I break Niggas write those? So you wrote yeah. those to bitches? <laughs> yeah. What oh the? I was a vicious poor diagram writer. Them whole laughing. They look at this no, nigga. No, look no, at this no, shit. no. Look no, at did this. Did you steal it from romance novels? No, I never did. They I was you like, stole look, it. No, they was like, look at this fucking purse. All you tell niggas stole all that stuff. I put a slow tape on. Look at little pervy. And I write a vicious smut joint. You was MC So you poetic with the words. That's what you're saying. And I have the song that I'm playing up top. Mood, song, all that shit. Did you put the oil on the letter? Yeah, all that shit. The bosom boy had the little jaw and the tissue. So listen, PK. Yo, it's some jail so, fucking so birds. Yeah, I write the joint. Spray that letter. That's so, so heavy. So you, know, you be back and forth. And then we, I used to have this joint called date night, right? Where's the I call it, right? And when I call, I used to wear my jacket. You know, state you got the brown jacket. I always kept, kept a big one. So when I go to this kitchen, I can steal shit. But I had the big one. Had the slots in the joint. But to the rub big, one out? Huh? The, I'm sorry. The, the big brown jacket. But listen, so now <laughs> I take it into the bush name. I had you had your sock for the phone. You know, people put socks over the phone, so well, it don't even matter germ shit like it was right now. So I slide up in the joint and I get on the last phone. In, in Dallas on J Block. Anybody that was up Dallas, Penitentiary, Pennsylvania on J Block, they remember the shower, the old shower room, they turned it into the phone room. Mm -hmm. So they got three slots you could use. I go to the back slot, lean this way, so so the door is right there. So I lean, be talking to her, yeah, what's up? Have my joints and right. I operate my piece. Okay. She get on there, oh my God. I'm like, you playing with it? Yeah, you I'm ready to put that thing in you. Right? So you rub one out at the phone, you did. Yeah, from the rip. Ah, all in, all in my pants. You're a freak. I've Listen, never heard of that in no prison story in my life. Why are you crazy? Dudes be squeezing. Nobody on the rubs one out the phone. You are different. This nigga squeezing his own pants. You Listen, rub I one out no, in a day party room pants. situation. Hey, party pants. You go upstairs. No party pants. You're Fuck ridiculous. You, you, know, you got that. party pants. It's not day room, it's in a it's in a You cubby. rub one out. In a common area. You know what I mean, dude? Listen. In a common I'm, I'm area. With a bunch of niggas You're behind wrong. You. You're no, out of not, pocket. It's not a common area. It's three, Hold on, I'll be right It's three phones it, in the room. In jail, the proper place yeah, to rub one out is the shower. If it's an individual no, it's shower, not. shower or your shower. bunk. Everybody's in the shower. Hold I on, had, brother. We had individual showers. No, in the penitentiary. In the penitentiary, it's 50 people. That's some decency, Wallow. That's disgusting. What you doing, baby? You saw my socks on the phone? Yeah, because the phones are cummy. What's up no, with no, Dallas? No, no, it ain't coming. It ain't like that, that was Dallas the Pink Palace. I was shaking. Listen, I be from here. Dallas from the Listen, listen you this be from here, right? out here. You be from here, right? Because you, you pull your arm out of this jacket, right? So now in the jacket hanging. He thinking your that's your joint, arm, listen, but you whacking him. Your okay. jacket hanging. Your other joint, so you shaking the dice. Innovative. Wait, but what, 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 what? Innovative. Yeah, what you, because you just hear Mona on the phone. Ah, I'm about to come. You come at the phone, ah. you. No, she, she. But I'm saying you, you though. No, you. So then you come all out. Do you finish at the phone? You. Yeah, inside the shower. So, side so, of your so you come all out your pants with come all on your hand and no, shit. No, that's it. Shake a nigga you hand all the way back. Up. Right, this nigga. shit oh, foul. You are free. Uh, you I ain't doing that. Free. So listen, did you? You pulled. I'm never looking at him the same. Them handshakes is not gonna be the same now. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. You man. walk through with a sticky hand through a common oh area my. with other men. Oh, my. No, wipe my hand off you are a freak like for the rest of your oh, life. You wipe your hand off all You can't walk. It's some shit I did in jail. Oh, I've yeah. never oh, crossed oh, no man. line Stop like that. Right. Stop with the bullshit, man. Like, you ain't. I you, appreciate your I transparency. I never off his shit in my pants, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? That's shaking the dice. The appropriate place to jerk off is and in your bed at night. Visit. So then you walked all the way back to your you cell. You get jerked off on a visit, cuz. It's walk, the same thing. You you walked all the way back to the cell. That's different. She got to come right. in her hand. Right. You walked all the way back to the cell with a hard joint with some jail joints on. 
No, a soft joint and a handful of cum no, in a long no, jacket when you, you, with his arm you, you like still, this. You still was buffed a little bit, wasn't you? Was still wasn't up a little bit when you walked back to no, the No, no, I was calmed down. He, he was oh, asleep. my God. So he you was, sat there with the cum on your hands, talk for another 10 minutes. That's that shit no, getting wild. Oh, Let's just back cold, off. I know that. Bro. This shit got you wild. Is, yeah, this 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 got kinky. No, no more stories from the I might got to put this on my OnlyFans this episode. No, but I guarantee you it's a lot of dudes that's watching this. That was This was a steamy one. They didn't got off on the phone before. Wallow, no. It's no, it's no doubt in my I've mind. never heard that, and no, I disagree. Sweet. Your you dad have... got off on the phone. Who? He was mad at me because I talked about <laughs> it. I beat your pop the fuck my up. My father and Gilly going to get one off, too. This shit going to get crazy. Yeah, I'm going to beat your pop the fuck Hopefully up. Hopefully it be off for of quarantine. We can't fight to after quarantine, Gil. All right. Well, well listen, I appreciate y'all for he tapping in. Up, right? I'll be the pop the fuck up. I got a pop. My money's on my pop. My money's on my pop. He's a, he's a, my money's on my pop. Your he, age, nigga. Did he work out upstairs? Your stage? age, nigga. Yeah, buff as shit. Yeah, and y'all the same height. What's up? Y'all the same height, same age. Let's go. I don't give a fuck about Buffy Combs. If you slam me or stop, you don't call me. Fuck is you talking about? You think I give a fuck about Buffy Combs? If he tackle you, I don't want to hear nothing. He ain't tackling. He's all box work. I don't give a fuck about no Buffy Combs, bro. All right, but listen, man. We ready to get up out of here, man. You, hey, pop, listen. pop going to whoop your ass. Yeah, all right. This is Million Dollars Worth of Game. We appreciate y'all for tuning in each and every week, making us the number one music podcast in the country. <laughs> oh, you coughing what the shit, the fuck? see? fuck? See, see, come on with this bullshit. Come coughing, on. Man. You got thing. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. Don't call me white girl. No, call your fucking queen of the mile because you fucking smoke them Pray blacks. Pray for my wig. You smell like goddamn cherry black and mild. I'm so right happy now, to be here, cool. though. I hate being home. You smell like cherry black and miles, and he smell like motherfucking too much A hand cummy sanitizer. Hand. <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah, that was some nasty. That shit. was just wild. Like, I, like, how do we end that? Like, like, how do you wrap that up? I, fuck. I came in my hand and pants. walked through a common area of men, you, upstate you prison. Killers would come in my hand, walking through. I didn't give a fuck. Any nigga dap me, I was gonna give him that shit. I ain't was gonna give nobody no daps. I didn't shoot right to the cell. Get out of here. And it's just like that. Right.